the distinguished delegate of Kuwait. Madam President and distinguished delegates, I'm pleased at the outset to extend my thanks and appreciation to the President and to your friendly country, the Republic of Fiji, on your election as the President of 71st Session of General Assembly. New century is claimed to bring a new problem to the society, the problem of terrorism. This social phenomena influences the life of many countries, putting the lives of the citizens in danger, creating the feeling of anxiety and insecurity, turning the life of ordinary people into a horror film and making them think about war. Today, Terrorism continues to be the major threat worldwide and especially to the Middle East and it remains one of our chief concerns. In response to the growing terrorism in the world, the state of Kuwait retreats its principle and firm position in condemning acts of terrorism as well as its total rejection of all acts of violence and extremism that do not contravene international laws and norms, but also the teaching of Islam and other religions. Madam President, Kuwait has put in place a series of a new and important steps and measures to combat terrorism and cutting off its financial resources, such as ratifying the 1999 anti-money laundering and combating the financing and terrorism law. The Parliament of Kuwait passed a cybercrime law criminalizing fundraising operations to the internet to finance terrorism. Thus, this law closes a loophole in the law that used to allow and facilitate the financing of extremism. The state of Kuwait endorses serious international efforts to find fair and urgent solutions to the crisis and issues causing suffering to many people in the world, primarily in the Middle East, such as the Palestinian cause and the crisis in Syria, Libya, Yemen, to the reduction of terrorism. The state of Kuwait contributes effectively to combating terrorism by providing support and backing to international coalition established to combat the Daesh or ISIS. In this respect, we retreat our position to stand by and support the government of Iraq and commend its achievements in combating terrorism. Madam President, we have introduced a number of laws and legislature that dried up the sources of terrorism. The Interior Ministry of Kuwait was able to successfully foil three terrorist plots targeting the country's security by directing their pre emity raids inside and outside Kuwait. Madam President, it is a fact we should admit that our future is uncertain and that it is still possible to export by extremists. However, if we are united and committed in the fight against terrorism, peace can be prevailed. I retreat my thanks to all of you, praying to Allah Almighty to save the whole humanity from all evils. The peace, mercy, and blessings of Allah be upon you. Thank you.